Austin York News Radio 1080, KRLD. The owners of a Fort Worth funeral home charged with mishandling corpses officially barred from doing business. State Funeral Service Commission has denied license renewals for Johnson Family Mortuary, operated by Don Dre Johnson and his wife, Rachel Hardy Johnson. So based on several violations that we have concerning Ms. Hardy Johnson, that's the reason that we've revoked that license. Kathy Sparks with the commission says open complaints against the mortuary actually date back to 2012. Johnson and his wife last week applied to renew their operating license, even though police shut the funeral home down last month. Officers found eight decomposing bodies inside, some of which have been left there for years or were supposed to have been cremated. KRLD News Time 506. Still some traffic delays, cleanup going on as a result of an unbelievable crash in Kaufman County. A lumber truck was dangling off a bridge. It happened on the westbound side of 175 in Seagaville. After the driver blew a tire, lost control, and hit the guardrail. That truck burst into flames. Ryan LaFontaine with TxDOT says the truck is gone now, but they still have some cleanup to do. There is still some um, some damage there, some, some minor damage to the pavement, to the asphalt there that was uh, damaged by just the extreme heat of the fire. He says traffic is still really slow in the area. So hopefully they can get uh, things open up by 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. Friday afternoon on the freeways in full gear 20 in South Fort Worth. We've got the update on that. And despite the heat and the sunshine, not a good afternoon to be on the area lakes. We'll tell you why as we check your forecast. Traffic and weather together on the 8th next 507. The KRLD Afternoon News continues for LifestylesUnlimited.com. Wake up tomorrow morning with news, traffic, and weather. The KRLD Saturday Morning News, 6 till 8. News Radio 1080, KRLD, and on online at cbsdfw.com. Now, focus on Frisco. The stories behind the boom in one of America's fastest growing cities. Ground recently was broken for a 110-acre mixed-use development on the toll road in Lebanon. Developer Stan Thomas says, along with tenants like Whole Foods, it'll be a blend of other upscale retail along with residential hotels and offices. Even before breaking ground, the plan has grown from the original vision and adds working with the city and Frisco EDC has been very special. They really love uh, people in their, their constituents. They really are doing a great job of uh, protecting them, but they also do a great job of encouraging quality growth, growth that will be very special for the neighborhood, trying to make sure that growth is lasting.